Okay, uh, this how-to video is going to talk about something called the root clearance view, uh, which is a new feature available in all levels of the, the Cadence PCB tools. Um, and it's a visual representation um, of the space, obviously, from a routing point of view, um, to know that you've actually got gaps uh, if you're trying to route through kind of like a part, partially routed board like this. So obviously I could invoke the add connect command and I'm kind of routing and just using standard kind of push shove and hug, I could push the tracks out the way I work if I've got enough room to get through here. But I'm not getting any visual representation of this, so it's kind of a bit of a trial and error to see if I could actually get the route through here. So um, if I just cancel the command and go to set up and user preferences, if we look in the user preferences editor under the unsupported uh, folder, there's something called the clearance view. Um, so we'll actually set this to channel if I hit um, OK. Now when I actually invoke the add connect command and I start to route, you can see I get a polygon effectively um, around the existing routing and buyers and stuff. And what that's uh, telling me is um, that's based on the spacing constraint set up in Constraint Manager. So it would be different depending on the, the rules that you have set. Um, and if I can see a gap, I know I'm going to be able to route through there. So obviously I can then just continue with the routing options and work my way through the space. Um, if I come over here and let's just, uh, oops, that one uh, will go and try and route this one over here. Obviously when I get this far, you can see there's no gap in the polygon, so it's unlikely I'm actually going to be able to, to make a, a, a route through here unless I physically adjust the track. But it's a good visual representation uh, which should aid in your routing uh, commands.